Interesting facts about Earth's atmosphere. Number 12. Benefits to living beings. The atmosphere provides a number of benefits to living beings. It acts as a protective layer, shielding us from harmful ultraviolet radiation, as well as providing us with oxygen to breathe. The atmosphere also helps regulate the Earth's temperature, which largely determines where and how various species of plants, animals, and humans can survive. The atmosphere also contains a significant amount of water vapor, which helps regulate the Earth's climate by trapping heat and helping to create clouds. Additionally, the atmosphere helps keep the planet clean by filtering out harmful pollutants before they reach the surface. Number 11. How the atmosphere was formed. The Earth's atmosphere is a layer of gases that surrounds the planet and is held in place by gravity. It is composed of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% other gases, including carbon dioxide and argon. The atmosphere was formed over millions of years. Initially, it was mostly composed of hydrogen and helium, which were released from the Earth's interior during its formation. As the Earth cooled, much of the hydrogen and helium escaped into space, leaving a much denser atmosphere of nitrogen and oxygen. In addition, volcanic activity released gases such as carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide. Some of these gases were broken down by the sun's ultraviolet radiation and re-released as oxygen, which created the environment necessary for life to form and evolve. Number 10. Oxygen caused the first major extinction. In the oceans of the Cambrian period, some 540 million years ago, life was starting to flourish. But around the same time, something else happened that would forever change its fate, the rise of oxygen. In the beginning, these oxygen-producing organisms used photosynthesis to convert sunlight into energy. But this process also created oxygen as a byproduct, and over time, this free-floating oxygen began to mix with the Cambrian atmosphere. This oxygen gradually accumulated in the atmosphere, and in the oceans, it began to form a layer at the top. As it did, it slowly began to kill off much of the life below it, leading to the first major extinction event in Earth's history. This event, known as the Great Oxygenation Event, marked a turning point for the planet, as it helped set the stage for the evolution of multicellular life forms and eventually, the rise of animals. Number 9. Earth had three atmospheres. Earth has actually been known to have three different types of atmospheres in its 4.54 billion year history. The first atmosphere was a reducing atmosphere made up mostly of nitrogen and carbon dioxide, with trace amounts of other gases. This atmosphere formed around 4.3 billion years ago as Earth's surface cooled and solidified. The second atmosphere was a reducing atmosphere with a higher proportion of carbon dioxide and methane and a weaker presence of nitrogen. This atmosphere allowed for much more efficient greenhouse heating, helping to warm Earth's surface and atmosphere. This atmosphere lasted for about 500 million years until oxygen began to accumulate in the atmosphere. The third atmosphere is the current atmosphere, which is mostly composed of nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. This atmosphere has been in place for the past 2.5 billion years and is the atmosphere that humans know and experience today. Number 8. Global warming was once much greater. Global warming has been an increasing concern throughout the world as temperatures have been rapidly rising in recent years. However, many people don't know that the Earth's atmosphere has experienced much greater global warming in the distant past. For example, during the Eocene epoch, approximately 56 million years ago, temperatures increased by 8 to 11 degrees Fahrenheit and the sea level rose over 300 feet in just a few thousand years. This event is thought to have been caused by a large release of carbon into the atmosphere, which is similar to the current global warming trend. This rapid global warming caused huge changes to the Earth's climate and environment, including mass extinctions, changes in ocean and land temperatures, and huge changes to vegetation, among other things. This startling example of global warming shows how much more drastic the consequences of human-caused global warming could be. 
Number 7. The sky should be violet. Earth's atmosphere is composed of a mix of gases, including nitrogen, oxygen, and water vapor. The air we breathe is a combination of these gases, which absorb and scatter different types of light. If Earth's atmosphere were composed of nothing but nitrogen and oxygen, the sky would be a deep violet color during the day. This is because nitrogen and oxygen molecules scatter short wavelength light, like violet and blue colors, more than they scatter long wavelength light, like yellow and red colors. So, if Earth's atmosphere were just nitrogen and oxygen, the sky would appear violet instead of blue. However, thanks to the presence of water vapor, dust, and other particulate matter in the atmosphere, the sky appears blue during the day. Number 6. The atmosphere extends 6,200 miles into space. The Earth's atmosphere is made up of several distinct layers that extend 6,200 miles into space. The layers are each distinguished by the temperature and composition of the gases that make up the atmosphere. The layers of the atmosphere, starting with the closest to the Earth's surface and moving upwards, are the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. The troposphere is the layer closest to the Earth's surface and is where most of the weather phenomena occur. This layer is considered the most active layer of the atmosphere and is where most of the gases and water vapor are found. The temperature in this layer decreases with altitude and is the layer in which all living things exist. The stratosphere is located above the troposphere and is the layer where the ozone layer is found. This is the layer where most of the Earth's atmospheric pressure is found and it is also where most of the air traffic is located. The mesosphere is the layer where temperatures drop significantly with increasing altitude. This layer holds most of the meteoroids that enter the atmosphere. The thermosphere is the layer where temperatures rise with increasing altitude due to the absorption of ultraviolet radiation from the sun. This layer is also where the aurora lights can be seen and the International Space Station ISS, orbits. The exosphere is the outermost layer of the atmosphere and is where the gases become more and more scarce and eventually escape into space. This is the layer where the Earth's gravitational pull is weakest and where the ISS and other satellites orbit. The exosphere is generally considered the boundary between the Earth's atmosphere and outer space. Number 5. Oxygen levels used to be much higher. In the distant past, Earth's atmosphere used to contain significantly more oxygen than it does now. Evidence of this can be seen in ancient fossilized life forms, which show that the oxygen levels in Earth's atmosphere during the Paleozoic and Mesozoic eras, 541 million to 66 million years ago, were much higher than it is today. Scientists believe that the increased oxygen levels allowed for the diversification and proliferation of large, complex life forms during that time. This heightened level of oxygen likely came from a variety of sources, such as increased levels of photosynthesis from plants and reduced levels of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. However, the exact cause remains unknown. Over time, the oxygen levels in the atmosphere decreased to their current level, a process which is still ongoing today. Number 4. Blood boils after 60,000 feet. At 60,000 feet, the atmospheric pressure is so low that any liquid, such as blood, will boil, since the boiling point of a liquid is related to air pressure. This happens to be lower than the cruising altitude of most commercial aircraft, which fly at 40,000 to 45,000 feet. This means that any liquid, such as blood, will boil at this altitude. The boiling point of liquids is usually considered to be 100 degrees C, 212 degrees F, but this is only true at sea level. At higher altitudes, the boiling point of liquids decreases due to the lower atmospheric pressure, allowing liquids to boil at much lower temperatures. This can be dangerous to people, as the decrease in air pressure can cause gases to expand, leading to decompression sickness. Number 3. With elevation, it gets hotter after getting colder. This is an interesting fact about the atmosphere of Earth. The Earth's atmosphere is made up of several layers of gases that extend up from the surface of the planet. 
As elevation increases, the air pressure decreases, which means that air temperatures drop. This is why it is often cooler at higher elevations. However, as elevation increases even further, the air becomes thinner and the temperature begins to rise again. This is because the air is not as dense, so it does not absorb as much heat. This is one of the reasons why mountain peaks tend to be much warmer than the valleys below. Number 2. It protects us from meteors. Earth's atmosphere is composed of multiple layers that protect us from meteors. The two most relevant layers are the mesosphere and the thermosphere. The mesosphere is located between the troposphere and the thermosphere, and it is roughly 50 to 80 kilometers high. In this layer, the temperature decreases with altitude, and the air is very thin. Meteors that enter the atmosphere in this layer are slowed down by the low air density and are then destroyed by friction. The thermosphere is located above the mesosphere, and it is roughly 80 to 600 kilometers high. In this layer, the temperature increases with altitude, and the air is very thin. Meteors that enter this layer are slowed down by friction, and then eventually burn off before they can reach the ground. Therefore, the atmosphere protects us from meteors by slowing them down and burning them off. Number 1. There is 40 trillion gallons of water in the sky. Earth's atmosphere contains an astonishing amount of water. In the lower atmosphere, it's primarily in the form of water vapor, which accounts for about 1-4% to of the air. When temperatures drop, some of this water vapor condenses and forms clouds, rising to the upper atmosphere. Scientists estimate that the atmosphere contains around 40 trillion gallons of water suspended in the sky in the form of clouds and vapor. This is enough to cover the entire globe in 2.5 inches of water. The water cycle continually circulates this water between the atmosphere and the Earth. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an episode of this channel. Make sure to check out our other videos to learn more about the amazing curiosities around the world. Until next time, stay curious.